Yeah, it's actually um, connected to to uh, lockdown. So here in Croatia, we had lockdown as well. Um, uh, full lockdown, very low number of of um, infected cases and deaths very low as well. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. taken very seriously as it was across Europe and around the world. Anyway, um, and and someone once said to me years ago, um, when when he was going actually through a, through a quite a tough time, personal time, he said to me, you know, it's it's um, when you when you're going through a tough time, you need to keep moving. Okay. And I thought, well, well you know, what do you mean moving like physical? You have to keep <laughs> moving, keep walking, keep walking around the block, don't stop. He said, "Well, not not necessarily. You can do that, but um, the, the idea was really a, a mental, on a mental sense, um, psychological sense. It's just in your mind, keep keep moving. So physically, we were all kind of locked down, but it's important to 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 keep things moving. So, for example, the work we're doing, keep reaching out on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. keep um, sending out leads, keep things steady." Keep your ideas going by watching. Keep watching uh, YouTube videos mm -hmm. or, or, or you know, subscribe to a course. Lots of free courses out there as well. So always do something. Again, the physical side. So I listened to I listened to um, was it last was it this Natalie, week? Natalie, sent it out the other day. PR. You sent out um, there was Just a short one. On right? audio only out. one. Yeah, that's right. About, yes. move, about, about uh, move about. It was about motivations. Yeah. So. So yeah, just just by getting out. Okay, you couldn't do that much during lockdown, but but just a, a walk, mm -hmm. just um, you know, a, a walk with a, with a friend or just on your own in the fresh air, doing something different. Mm -hmm. All these things keep you again, and it goes back. I think it goes back down to the focused idea. So when you're focused on something else, yeah, I'm with you. The thing that the the the, the kind of crappy thing that you that, that causes the anxiety is still there, but it slightly goes down because you're focusing on something else. Time, I mean, time's the biggest healer. So as time goes on, that that those things go down, and then mm -hmm. you're you have many other focuses. So so focus on other things and keep on moving. Um, certainly for me in my in my dark days um, throughout my 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 life and my career, you know, I've had I've had some some tough times as well. Keep on moving. Don't stop. Yeah. Because if you stop and you start to feel sorry for yourself and you start to you, you go down that road of again negative self talk, um, and it's so much you're digging your own hole. Mm -hmm. You're digging your own hole. Nobody and again nobody's gonna not think. I often think to myself, nobody's actually gonna help me out of that hole but me. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. But no, I think it's a good one. And it's, I've always tried to learn and develop. I think partly just because I had a hunger to do stuff, whatever the stuff was. Mm -hmm. And then actually when I was unhappy in different times, for me, my creativity stopped. So actually doing all of this and all of the other stuff that I kind of do, the marketing, whatever, that to me is fun that it helps me switch off. And it's trying to, you know, uh, manage that, I guess. But then likewise for the work that I do for clients every day when I help do proposals, I help them run the company or whatever, often that does build up and you have a pressure there and for me, it's sometimes just get through each day. Not that I'm, you know, at risk of doing anything stupid, but almost you can still feel pressure. But it's just get through the day, wake up, start again, and just keep going. But fingers crossed, um, you know, lockdown will ease soon, and we can yeah. find out what's. what's and having there. that, having the the sense of of, so so certainty and uncertainty. So we we all know people during during lockdown and during the last six seven months that have looked at all of this mm -hmm. and have felt very the anxiety has risen a lot in terms of what they feel about the whole situation yeah so they're they, they like things that are certain mm -hmm. they like things that are predictable things that are um consistent right but then there's others, and we know them as well, that have looked at looked at all of this and said to themselves, "Yeah, it's it's pretty tough right now. Um, we don't know what's over the mountain. We don't know what's on the other side. Mm -hmm. But but for now, I'm safe. For now, things are going okay. I've got a kind of plan, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of take this as as an opportunity, maybe an opportunity, 
or to, to, to look at this as something new. And that is actually quite a, you know, this is, is a really important thing with, with speaking. So especially, again, feeling the anxiety of, of, of going on stage. If you're somebody that is in this park, in terms of you want things that are certain, you want things that are predictable, you, you know, you, you, things need to be perfect and consistent, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's far, you know, beneficial to, if you can lean to, more towards the side of uncertainties, because things may go wrong, okay. right? Things are not, it's new, it's a new experience. Things are not maybe um, perfect, and that's okay. That's okay. So, and, and taking it as it comes, living for, not living for that presentation, but being <laughs> present fully for the, for the presentation and not thinking about how others will think of you, like, you know, when, when it goes online or when people see it on YouTube, what will they think? Mm -hmm. so, so feeling, having an idea, having that sense of accepting uncertainty is actually a, a, a okay. positive thing when it comes to because the one thing that I always find is that if I'm ever feeling nervous and actually I don't so much get nervous doing these now but when I fed did the first one I did because you you know you know as soon as you click the button boof, it goes to a lot of people but actually for me if you feel nervous it just shows that what you're doing matters and it matters to you and actually I then just try and embrace it but it's also no coincidence that I don't sit down and do these I stand up I move around I take and I try and just enjoy it yeah and, that. yeah, yeah. That, you, you, that's good for you it's listen that, that, that's really cool that's um yeah there's, there's a lot of air coming into your body your, your voice sounds better when you stand um, I'm kind I'm, I'm sitting um, I'm kind of only because I haven't got a stand for my for my laptop and, <laughs> and this wouldn't be, wouldn't be the right thing but I'm kind of, I'm okay sitting but yeah and it looks good um, your lighting setup is, is, is fabulous um, you've got the you, you, professional mic in front of you as well th this is all about you not me but anyway but I appreciate <laughs> the, the comment we should do we should do yeah I should do a podcast and interview just just for you yeah, cool. And the other question that I always ask, and I, I actually think in some ways this is really valuable. If you were to give advice to your younger self and you can pick any age, any part of your career, whatever you want, what would it be? Yeah, it goes back to the judgment thing, to let people judge you. It's okay. It's, a, it's, it's okay. People actually don't care. People are not, people are not really judging you. They're just, they, they, they might judge you just for very quick, mm -hmm. um, you know, a, a, a very short period, but in, in, at the end of the day, people r really don't care as much as you think people care about you. Because um, do you mind if I riff off this a little bit? Because I think it relates to business, is that often people worry a lot about what other people think. And it could be, do I start the business? Do I, I'm losing my job? Will people think less of me? It could be anything you want. But the one thing that always gets me is that you're completely true that you know people who you want them to do well because you like the guy, but 99.9% .9 of your week, you're focused on your own shit. You're trying to figure out how do I pay my own mortgage? How do I do this? How do I do that? And almost from a business point of view, the one thing that got me is that some people hate selling and reaching out and doing the hustle, you know, that kind of thing. But my point always was is that most people, if not, apart from your family and your spouse and your children, other people don't generally care if you can't pay your mortgage. So due to that, any of the kind of preconceptions or worries about what people think, you know, fuck them, it doesn't really matter. Just do your own thing and do the best you can because the truth is they don't care about you anyway. And then people that don't like you, who cares what they think? So it, it, so I completely agree with you that it's, it's a difficult pill to swallow that, you know, is, is an important one to do. But especially in today's world, be it on a stage or online, it's important yeah. to kind of put yourself out there. As, as we naturally, as we get older, it's easier to, to deal with that. One, well, for a lot of people, it's easier, not, not everyone. Um, but um, same for me, it's been easier. And, do, and being a coach, being a speaker coach yeah. has actually helped me become more self-aware, more imagine. comfortable with, with who I am and all the, you know, all the, the, the good stuff and the bad stuff. You know, we've all got it. We've all got, you know, weaknesses. We don't necessarily show them all. That's okay. You don't have to. Um, but, you know, again, letting people judge you um, and it's okay. And they have the right, when, if, when we're talking about speaking, of course, yeah. people have the right not to, to like you. That's okay. That's absolutely fine. But if you can hit, like the people that are listening to this, hopefully, you know, 80% in my head, I'm always this, this idea of 80% or the, or the 
the audiences that I'm talking to or listeners, if 80% seem to be okay and happy or satisfied <laughs> or around that area and tw- the other 20% that, you know, are not, and that's okay. I'm, I'm quite happy with that number. See, I actually go the full standard deviation. So you've got your 14 or 12 or 14% that rarely love what you do. And there's a guy called Simon that watches every week and he always comments and stuff. So hi, Is Simon. He? I then you have the 32 and the 32 so the 64 percent in the middle that yes you just want to be seen as credible and see there you're going to have the other group of people so out of our 50,000 people that we're connected with there'll be a good mental maths i don't know 2,000 people that just don't like us but that's fine they're not going to buy my stuff anyway so i almost don't let it ruin you you know but it's uh i appreciate yeah. the and so the, the, the quicker you can quicker you can um fathom that not everybody will like you and people have the right to judge you and they don't have to like you then that that's almost like a weight off your shoulders mm-hmm. because it's so it, it's all okay. okay so all all it actually does is tell you okay well i what am i going to do to get people to listen to which me? comes back I to have, this is my job i have to do that yeah 